Yeah, so this is round two at Tinaroo um, in the Atherton Tablelands. We've just come back from round one at uh, Hinchinbrook. Got him! Oh, oh no! <laughs> yeah, had a bit of a shocker in round one, so we definitely need to um, beat the boys in pretty much everything so we can take the series out. Right. Number 10. Is that 10? Yeah. A lot of fish on this dam, like wherever you go, you're seeing them on the sander, but you just got to get them to bite, so let's see if we can work on that today. To win this one, we've got a big day, big job ahead of us. We've got to take out the most fish and the biggest fish, which I think we'll be um, fairly confident to um, shake it up. All right, anglers, this is AFC round two at Tinaru. On the count of three, two, one, go. Yeah, so um, it's dark. We wanted to fish something really close, so we moved across to a nice bay and a point and set up within probably a kilometre from the boat ramp. A few fish on the sander now. Just starting to slide through, so. We really wanted to spend our time there, not travel, and miss that bite period. The morning session um, looks like it's gonna be good. I have some high expectations for it. It's a good area for some big fish to roll through. We started early, because we knew, just as that sun starts to roll, you see a bit of glow. The fish kind of pump in, and that's your chance to get your big fish. The sun's come up, and the bite period's pretty much prime. So, yeah, there's a lot of fish moving through on the sander, and eventually um, I threw a vibe out, a jackal transam, and um, hooked up to a nice, um, nice fish. Yep. yep. When that sun come up a bit and it's prime bright time, they were everywhere at this moment and crim through a vibe out and we got our first fish, which was a good one. The first one was um, yeah pretty early in the morning. Um, we needed to be there early to get the morning bite. It was good to get a good one on the deck pretty early. Come this way, yep. I like this one, yep. Pick that little bait there, huh? All right. All right. Good fish. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just a bit bigger, though. Yeah, a little bit bigger. The bag limit's five at the dam today, so, um, yeah, it was good to get one early. Um, take the, yeah, take the pressure off. So, morning, this is the morning bite, so just going to make the most of it now. Hopefully we get another one. We had a one more chance early this morning, lost him, so here we go. Um, bud. All right. On the board. <laughs> That's what we wanted. Hell yeah. Yeah, so the light started to come up and you start to look over your shoulder and see where the other guys are. We know they didn't travel too far away from us. Must have had a similar game plan, but um, we could see them straight across the dam from where we were. Go on, Cody. Yeah, so this dam's full of um, forktail catfish at the moment. Everywhere you go, they travel with the barra and schools and um, you tend to get a lot of catfish, so you've got to be careful of those with a big spine, but um, yeah, it's a frustrating thing when you get a bite. Caddy. That's a caddy, not a barra. Another one. Tinaroo's, you know, up in the back of Cairns, right up in the mountains there. I've never fished here before. Crim lives up in this area, and um, today I'm just going on his word, but this, this is a big dam. I've heard about this dam for years, you know, the first barra ever released in here, and this is where like, I heard about barra getting caught in dams. How many times, man? Uh, hour in, it's quiet. We're an hour in there, and nothing's happened yet. There's a few fish coming through, um, so we're starting to think what plan B is going to be. The lack of catching fish plays its toll. Yet I know the dam quite well, so I knew it wasn't going to be that great in the morning. With high expectations, you want it to be, but in the back of my mind, I knew it was going to be a grind. 
come over to the dam wall. Tony's got a couple of little secret spots up his sleeve over here we're gonna have a look at. We'll have a scan around and set up and see if we can bang another one. Ben Tunstead's the king on this dam, pretty hard to beat up here and knows the dam and has fished it longer than anyone I know, so um, they're definitely going to be a hard team to, to roll up here. Stack there, eh? Plenty of spots. That is amazing. Only a handful of really worthy ones in the area. Krem knows this dam just as much as I do and I know that he, he'll be close by. Yeah, so we went to the next spot. Um, so we had the plan to run a few morning areas. We moved up on a shallow bay and we just sort of moved along with the electric. Ooh, there's a few here. Um, I picked up a nice little fish on a jerk bait in the sticks. Daddy? Oh, I think it's a bather. <laughs> <laughs> little fella. That's a right cream brain saying anything, mate. Oh, I thought it was a caddy. <laughs> yeah, so I threw out in the little sticks and you tend to get a lot of snags, so I sort of ripped through a little tree and got the bite. I was trying to flick it off because I thought it was a cat. We've been catching a fair few caddies, so I was mistaken the barrows for caddies most of the time. Yeah, it's oh, right. Right. But as soon as they go sideways or pull a bit of drag, you know it's a barra. Hang on the side. It was good to get it close to the boat and in the net. Yeah. All right. Sick. <laughs> <laughs> I was like that. Ah, caddy. <laughs> Starts running. <laughs> We've got our two fish. Um, we were on two fish for the morning session. We knew how tough it was, so I was pretty stoked with that. There's a nice little bag filler. Nice in that sun. Beautiful fish. They're all good condition. Fair it is. But that'd be probably, what, two year old fish? Yeah. Maybe a year, two years. Stock and group are unreal in this dam. Really on what? Been doing it for a long time, the boys. Been doing it. Number one. There's some joints here. Mm, it's a good one. Wouldn't mind three before breakfast. I was hoping for two, we got that, so but we can go another one. We've got our two fish and then we'll just run around hitting spots trying to get some more. Went down this other little point, some nice little sticks coming out on a red bank and I happened to get one off there and it's a you know good little fish, the, the ones we're chasing. Look how slow that one's moving. Yep. Yeah, right. Good one or? No, oh, just a little ratty. Radis, radis? Radis. I mean silver. I don't know. Oh, thing. hook just pulled. Is it? Yep. We're gonna jump, we're gonna be right. Oh, I don't want to put this net in the water. He's all right. Oh, little follow in it. Look at it. Yeah, have a little follow in it. Mate, look at your lure. It's about to come out. Oh, I told you it pulled. Oh, all yeah. right. All right, there's our three. One of three before Brecky. And we've got three before Brecky. My first Tenerary Barra. Only baby, hopefully. Get another one a bit bigger. But that's three. Two to go. Nice caddy. Oh, good one. Good caddy. Made a few moves, run a few spots that hold some rats, but only with a couple of short strikes, uh, things weren't looking real great. Oh, it's that caddy. Got it's got caddy? A caddy, yeah. No, it's not caddy. Not the way it's called drag. Yeah. Just here? Yep. Yeah! Ah. Number four, so we need one more, and we'll be sitting on hopefully giants this afternoon. But yeah, we need to get our bag first, so. Nice clean fish. Look at the strollers on him for a little fella. Not bad. I'd say they're doing it tough as well, but those guys can catch fish in the bathtubs. I've got the best in the business next to me leading the way here, so if Benny can't find them, I think um, everyone else will struggle too. Plenty of fish around on the sounder, just can't convert one at the moment, but we're trying everything. Yeah, we're fishing a spot up the back of the dam and it had a good number of smaller fish and I threw a vibe in and had a, had a what I knew was a barra bite. Oh. And I went to set the hook and a rookie error for me that I don't think I've ever done before is I forgot to check my drag upon cast. And it was loose and I missed that, 
that fish because of it. Oh well, guess what? <laughs> oh no. Guess what? You gotta buy it. Yeah. It's but... on. We're on here. <laughs> oh, I'll laugh because you'll cry. You idiot. So yeah, that hurt because we're still sitting on zero. So that would have would have really improved the morale of the boat, I think. Caddy. Oh, it's a tilapia. Caddy, I think. Yeah, good one. It's me third stick now. Oh, you get clunk. Did ya? Yeah. yeah. That's the one that was in there, the little one. <laughs> That's just been released. We eventually got our fifth. It was a tiny fish. I pretty much pulled it in the boat. We thought it was a mouth of mighty or something like that, which is the bait fish they eat here. So, um, yeah, it was only a year old little barra. Um, but it was nice to get five in the deck, and now we had a chance to get some better, better ones in the afternoon. He's a little fella, so he'd probably be from the, first, from the last release. So they released him at about, I think the last lot that went in was about 100, uh, 150 mil. So he's probably from that last year's or something. So feel fit and healthy, just got to be careful with them because they've got really tender mouths and that, so the hook's doing enough damage as it is. So hopefully he's good to go and we'll get a big one upgrade. Close of session one, no fish. A few fish missed, but nothing in the boat. Very, very tough first period for us and um, yeah, a lot to think about for the afternoon session. here for the afternoon session at Tinaroo. We've got a bit of work to do. Yeah, so there's a five fish bag limit for the day. We'll chase five small ones to get our bag quick and then look for upgrades after that and hopefully try and put some meteries in the boat. Something that we can jump ahead of the BCF boys with. Yeah, so we ran around. I had a few good areas, but the wind hadn't picked up enough to get the fish moving through in those areas. So we went down and spent a fair bit of time on our big fish spot. Caddy. That three hour second session, we like wind on this dam in the afternoon. It wasn't real windy, so we were pretty disappointed with that. But as the afternoon got on, it got windier and windier. It started picking up and the dirty water started moving around. Ben wants to have a look at this bay that he hasn't fished for a little while near Tinaroo Township. It's a wind driven bay, has caught fish there before, and something was eating inside of him to pull in there and have a squeeze. Yeah. So about five minutes in, I got a bite on a slow roll plastic, and we got a little one there, but a one for the bag. Giant, Tenerife special. Probably the smallest I've ever caught. That was a good sign of the area. That's better. No, it's not. Coming, coming in hot. Yeah. Yeah, real confidence booster to come out in the second session and, and get two in the boat pretty quickly is, um, it, yeah, it's a good feeling. So another micro from Tinaroo, but this really shows the, like, it's a real testament to the Tableland Fish Stocking Society on the, on the uh, success of their stocking, of the stocking group. Because that many of these fish now getting around, like, the, the stocking's going fantastic and the dam's really thriving. Tinnery Dam is one of the oldest stock impoundments in Australia. The guys that initially did it um, way back, um, they, there's a lot of barra in this dam that would be 20 odd years old, so this dam's got a massive size range of fish. Getting better. And it's got a lot of well records as well, so if you're in the right areas and there's big fish moving and they bite, you'll, you could get some good ones, especially over 110 to 120 centimetre fish. Yeah, it's my turn. I'm not holding up my end of the bargain, but I'll keep doing the best I can. We'll, we'll jag him. Yeah, Benny. Yep. Yeah. Oh, got him. Yeah. Yeah, so I've hooked up and the first thing in my mind is just going, please don't drop this, please don't drop this, you know. I'm, I'm here to do a job and I wanted to land that fish. tenro has been fishing quite tough in the last couple of weeks, so to get a good bite like this is, is great and it's, it puts a real confidence back into the, into the team and yeah, it's, it's having a ball. So, can't wait to get back in and get another one. Yep, got him. Yep. Oh, he's a good one. Oh, oh, Miles, put him in the boat. Tree. 
Ah, oh, he's in the tree. You all right? Pull him, him out. Yeah, him. That's it. So Miles is off the yeah, mark on a squirrel, you. and um, it's a nice one, and it's a, another one here. for the bag. So we we're pretty pumped with that, and the energy in the boat was high. That's it. Take it easy on him now. Little fella from the saw, mate. Spicy little fella. Finally, I got a fish, and I was pretty stoked. And Ben done his job and landed it straight away. So we were very chuffed, and I was excited to put something on the board. You got him, mate. You got him. Fifty now. All right. So we've got some real good energy going on. Um, we're, we're getting some bites, we're getting some fish on the board. This little rat, got a little bite going on here, so hopefully Tony hooks up here. We'll just uh, tag team for the afternoon. Things were starting to happen. Wind was driving those bays really well. Currently, we're looking like we might turn something on here. Yep, 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 yep. Got him. Okay. Be late 70. Min, you got him? You want me to move? No, you're right. You're right, mate. I've hooked another one and I'm absolutely stoked. You know, we're getting a bit of rhythm now. We're finding a pattern to keep these guys on the chew, so we're starting to get some structure together and putting some fish on the board. Oh, you did it. A bit cheeky. Fighting it in, played up around the boat a little bit. I had to do a bit of fancy rod work around the boat. That's it. Yeah, just like that. Perfect. Perfect. Got him. I was real pleased for Miles at that point in time. You could see how happy it was to be smacking them and you're having fun with your mate. Beautiful Tinaroo Barra, Lake Tinaroo. That's what we come here for. They're getting bigger. We've got our bag of five. We're just going to round them all up to this size now and then probably go for meters after this. So. There he is. Oh, I see it. Yeah, the momentum is in full swing now. We've hooked another one. Same spot, same lure. Every time I threw in there, I pretty much got a hit. I managed to pull three fish and three casts there. First upgrade, I don't know what to say. It was a red hot bite that we had to sit this out. And Ben and I were working super hard to keep this going. There it is. Yes. Oh, yep. Yes. Coming in. Another good upgrade, that one. Never get sick of catching these fish, ever. Uh, it was tough fishing today. We sat on the big fish for nearly two hours just trying to get that upgrade and they just went biting. We're going to get a bite this afternoon, you reckon? I don't know. I'm so. starting to wonder too. I hope so. Yeah, the last two hours, we've got a really good bag. We've upgraded many times. We've got a, a nice fish on board. We still want bigger ones. We don't know what they've caught. We still need biggest fish to win. We need bigger. Um, we only had a half an hour, so we ran a few different areas, sanding up, and we settled on one spot. We had like 10 minutes to go. Um, we've got like 10 minutes to go. We still haven't had a bite, so we moved trying to upgrade our little one. We've got a big fish in this one spot, so we're saving that to the end. I uh, want to sit on that. We go down there to fish it, and here's Jack Lispo sitting right in it at the prime time. We heard an outboard flying past and looked around. Team BCF have come in for a play as well. They've parked 50 metres from us and wanted a big bar as well, so we were like, um, OK. Two minutes later, Ben's hooked up, and he's caught a big one. Yeah. He's on. Hey, hey good one. This is what I fish for. That bite's like nothing else. It's, it's sharp, it's aggressive, and if you're not paying attention, it'll, it'll rip the rod out of your hand. Oh, oh. Not the hook. But I kept it pretty under control. I've done it before, I've caught a fair few barra before, so I knew what I was doing. Come, brother. Which side you want me on, though? Just stay there. All right, I'll bring him to you. Yeah. Oh, just belly it in there now. And then yeah. just... Yeah! All, All right! right. Yeah. Catching any barra <laughs> is just as rewarding because I fish for that bite, but a metery on the deck, yeah, you can't really beat it. <laughs> <laughs>
you know, to land a fish of that calibre in front of Team BCF, that alone was an excellent feeling. Not a bad one? That's all right. Hell yeah. Yeah, in the back of my mind, I reckon I had a bit of a smirk on my face catching that in front of the boys. We had a really good day. I'm super excited about our bag and the fish we've caught today, but we need to win the biggest bag for the day, five barramundi, and also win the biggest fish. So we technically have to get an excellent bag and the biggest fish of the day to take this out. We've had to wait and see. Here are the results for round two of the AFC Barra Series at Lake Tinaru. Team BCF caught five fish for a bag length of 309 centimetres. Team Jack Leaks caught 10 fish for a bag length of 426 centimetres. The AFC Barra Series will therefore be determined by today's biggest fish. Team BCF's big fish measures 85 centimetres and Team Jack Lynx Big Fish is 100 centimetres. Congratulations to Team Jack Lynx, winner of this year's AFC Barra Series. Yeah. Hey, good work, boys. Oh, hugs around. Oh, oh, give me that. Yeah. Oh, that one. Oh, I'll grip my first. Oh, grip my first. Oh, oh, I love <laughs> Thanks for watching the Australian Fishing Championships. Cheers, guys. Thanks, boys. Cheers, mate. Well Thank done. Thank you very much. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Thanks. Good work. Hold well on, mate. Beauty. Call him up, eh?